Giannis Antetokounmpo speaks on being called a child by Jalen Brown. Check out the video. When Giannis hit you with, with the offensive foul, and then he like fake shook your hand and pulled it back, are you laughing at that? Do you think it's funny, or does that kind of piss you off? Um, Giannis is a child. You know, I'm just focused on helping my team get a win, and that's what we did tonight. He took offense to it. Why do you say that? He was asked about it after, after the game, and he said, Giannis is a child. I'm just focused oh, on that's what he said? get a win. That's what we did tonight. He, he later said he had a really good game and stuff like that. That was his response. Oh, well, he said I was, I was a child? Giannis is a child. I'm just focused on helping my team get a win. That's what we did. You know, he, did he was complimentary about your performance. In the game. I, th- I, thought, you know, I thought that... Uh, you know, I thought that I gave him a compliment that he was just going down. But at the same time, this is who I am. Uh, I play I play the game with fun, joy. Um, I try to surround myself around young people so I can stay young myself. I try to be around my kids a lot, you know, my nieces. And sometimes I might, you know, go out there on the, you know, uh, at times on the court when I play, do stuff like that. But uh, at the end of the day, as I said, I think he's, I think he's an incredible player. He always does the right thing to help his team win. But I'm just going to continue to be me. And uh, at the end of the day, if, you know, I'll be caught, if I'm uh, called a child, uh, so be it. I have three childs of my own, you know, and I think six nieces. Yeah, so I take care of a lot of uh, kids around here. So sometimes when you're around the kids, you try to act like kids. It's fun. It's fun to be around them. So I just try to go out there and have fun. But again, great player, great competitor. If I have another one, then I'll do it. Uh, Jason, how's your ankle? It's cool. I was able to play through it. A little sore. Probably be a little sore tomorrow. And you've had a couple technicals, rightfully so. Today, you really could have gotten one because you didn't get the call. How did you kind of keep your composure and just walk back to the bench and stay, keep your head in the game and not kind of get upset about the no call? Uh, I mean, coaches kind of call me down. It's a tough situation, right? Like, you know, I get my fair share of texts throughout the season, rightfully so, and rightfully so. Um, but I, it's certain calls I just feel like you, you can't miss, right? You, your job is protect the guys on the court, protect the shooter. That's something I could have been out for six weeks or whatever. Um, so for it to be a no call, let alone they didn't even get to review it or look at it, right? Then, you know, I lose my shit, cut somebody out, and then I get a tech. It's like a double whammy. So, I mean, that shit is frustrating uh, when all you get is a, sorry, we missed it. You know, your ankle's swollen, you gotta figure it out. Uh, so yeah, I, I definitely was frustrated. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.